Hello and welcome to the Adam Free Lunch Show. Uh, no long introduction today. We uh, there's too much. No, to let's talk do about. a long introduction. All right. Um, uh, f- friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. This is the Adam Free Lunch Show podcast. It is Wednesday, the fifteenth of November. Remember, remember, the fifth of November. Fifteenth of November. That's a good date. That would be like a powerful birthday to have. You think? November 15th? I don't think men should have birthdays. Probably not. It's a girl thing, kind of. You should have your gender reveal day. Yeah. When you're five years old and make everyone look at your penis. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to have to bother you, but your son was doing a gender reveal <laughs> in the middle of the auditorium. <laughs> Um, we, we're going to have to send your son home. He, ca- he stood up on his lunch table and he said he was doing a gender reveal. Yeah. And showed everyone his penis. Yeah, and I get it. It's pretty funny. Yeah. You know? It's a real play on the whole gender reveal I don't reveal know where thing. he's learning this stuff. I Prob- don't know if he was doing Probably in our classrooms. Yeah. It's probably the fault of the education system. Yeah. But we have to send him home for indecent exposure. Uh-huh. Or perhaps decent exposure. Yeah. What is that? Oh. Is that one of those... Michael Douglas movies, Indecent yeah. Exposure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to show you my penis. <laughs> There's only one way to win. There's only one way to win in business, and that's by showing your cock. <laughs> Nicky Money was on top of the world. I'm the only one, I'm the only one willing to pull his cock out. <laughs> That was my thing. But then it was his 45th birthday party. <laughs> and a homeless person showed his cock to him <laughs> after a night out drinking. Oh, Are you fucking kidding me? They got me real good. What? Indecent exposure? Yeah. With Michael, <laughs> Michael <Douglas. laughs> yeah. Isn't that one of his movies? Uh, Indecent Proposal. Oh, but that's Woody Harrelson. That's Woody Harrelson. Yeah, and but uh, it sounds like... Because you always confuse that one mm-hmm. and then the other one, the fucking uh, the show yeah. your pussy movie. Michael Douglas. Mi- Michael Douglas is an upper middle class New York City banker. Mm-hmm. His, his wife one day, some guy exposes his penis to her in a grocery store, and he can't stop thinking about it. And yeah, he finds out. They file a police report, and then she has to give a description of the penis. And like <laughs> he's just he's like kind of like he's like waiting in the room, and he like looks in while the wife's like talking to the police description guy. And he's drawing, he's just drawing, like, this guy with a coat open. But then, like, you know the Wolverine towel picture? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? And then he's like, all he's upset. Not. And he's like, like, what do you mean it was down to his ankles? <laughs> and he starts beating her. She's like, I didn't not, like it. It's not my fault, Michael. You goddamn whore. Yeah. And then he goes into the hood yeah. to learn how to have a big <laughs> penis. He goes, listen to me, you fucking ape. <laughs> <laughs> teach me, a, teach me how to have a big cock, you fucking, you fucking animal. Yeah, he gets a gun. He has a gun. He's just, like, yeah, <laughs> he's just in the Bronx. I need to. Have, I need to yeah. oh, I'm sorry. He's scary. Yeah. <laughs> teach me how to have a big cock. <laughs> Decent exposure. Like I don't know what to tell you, homeboy. Mm-hmm. We like, can't teach you that. His, his like 14 year old daughter is like on the phone <laughs> in class or like after school in yeah. her room. He picks up the phone. She's like, "Yeah, I heard, I heard Jerry's well endowed at school," and just starts ripping all the phone lines out of the wall, <laughs> slapping around. Who the fuck is Jerry? Is it some boy at your school? His <laughs> wife saw some guy's cock in the grocery store. Just one time, a hobo. <laughs> just literally a hobo. And his boss is like. Mickey, I think you should take some time off work. He's just in meetings drawing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's he's dreaming about it. Mm-hmm. He has nightmares. He's waking up in a cold sweat. Yeah. God damn it. That'd be a good movie. He gets a gun. He has to find the guy. Yeah. Hey, it's a brother, real movie. We can't teach you nothing. This is a crack house. <laughs> <laughs> Homeboy, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Fucking show it to me. <laughs> <laughs> just go. Yeah, just let me see. <laughs> let me see your fucking cock. <laughs> just fucking show it to me, you fucking ape. <laughs> He's race. He becomes <laughs> racist and homosexual. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it was just one day a man could not take it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The final scene is he's just looking in, in the mirror mm-hmm. at his own cock. Yeah. Yeah. He's just yelling at his own penis. <gasps> is this what you want? <laughs> yeah. Just wearing a trench coat in the grocery store. <laughs> he becomes everything he feared. Yeah, the last rain. It's full circle. The house is empty. He's driven mm-hmm. his wife away. <laughs> he's alone. He's alone. Just in the grocery store exposing himself to some Chinese family. <laughs> They're laughing at him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, show me your cock, you Chinese piece of shit. <laughs> the cops he's shoot him to death. Yeah. <laughs> right? No, he's just he's completely naked. He's got his dick out. He's pointing the gun at the cops. He's like, go ahead, do it. Fucking kill me or whatever. And then, yeah. And then fucking Sean Penn comes out and he's like, happy birthday. <laughs> and it's, yeah. and he's like, you mean you... This was, was a, a prank birthday. the whole this time. This was a, b- a birthday present? It was a <laughs> <laughs> I hired the guy to show his <laughs> gi- giant cock to yeah. your wife. Wow. You guys, you're good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indecent in exposure. Directed by David Fincher. Man, that's a real movie. Did you see the new Fincher? My dad actually called me to ask me if I saw it. I was like, I thought you only watched Marvel Cinematic. It's about Universe. movies, right? I think it's about a hitman or something. Yeah, but it's about being like a, mo- a filmmaker. No, I I don't even know what it's about. No. Is it good? I haven't seen it. I saw the black and white one. And it it kind of was didn't grab me. The black and white. The last one. What was it? Hancock. Oh. No. You know what? I feel like I've seen Bullet Train with the sound off like 10 million times on airplanes. Bullet Train is the... Oh, it's like with Brad Pitt and stuff, right? Yeah. They're all it's fighting. I, I have not heard a word of I watched it on a plane. You, I just watched it. It's like the, really bad. I watched the, the performances yeah. and it's a lot of like, I'm about to do karate at you. <laughs> But I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do karate. People I calmly don't want to. expressing that they're about to do karate. Yeah, that yeah. seems like what yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah, it's just cool guys looking cool and then doing karate. So it's like an Ocean's cool. Twelve sort of thing. Yeah, well, it's I, well, I hated that those movies because it's all like, the fellas are back together to earn another cool million apiece. Yeah, doing some, doing some fucking smile acting. But you want to see them having fun. I don't. I, it feels good to see them having fun. You can imagine the high drinks on set, all those guys. Oh my God, the best mm-hmm. guys. Um, no, Brad, I'm, I just imagine George, Julie Roberts going back to her trailer and getting absolutely fucked by Lyle Lovett. <laughs> no, she got fucked by, by the Lyle Lo- Lovett, her husband at the time. No, she got fucked by the the Chinese guy that could do flips and stuff. The contortionist they guy. They never dated. She was married to Lyle Lovett. Yeah, but she was fucking him. It was more of a physical oh, thing. Okay. Well, now the contortionist Chinese now kid. Now you're besmirching. Don't. Guys, it's the replica. Um, oh, I just want to provide the audience with one update. Could I? Sure. Okay, so recently, I, I don't know how it happens with us. We get embroiled in controversies with massive celebrity guests. Um, it happened with Taylor Swift and Ice Spy. You know, that was a nightmare. And now it seems like we've been dragged into another one with massive with uh, Scumbag Vinny and Stevo. And on the Patreon this week, we got if you don't subscribe, please uh, patreon.com slash TAFS. We got Scumbag Vinny's version of the story. At the end of the Steve O episode from last week, uh, he mentioned a guy's name uh, that we both thought he said Oliver Twist. Correct? I guess. I don't why know. at gunpoint? I don't even know why we're talking about this. Adam got a Adam got a DM from some guy with two million followers, and now he wants to flirt with him on Stop the podcast. Stop it, Nick. Stop it. You said literally before the episode, you're like, we're gonna kill this guy. I said, yeah, I'll kill him. Well, he said in a DM that he that he's gonna kill both of us. Yeah. And beyond that, he referred to you as my little friend. Yeah. And I was like, why do? You, I wouldn't call Nick little. Mm. You know, he goes to the gym. He's an, of an average height. I don't go to the gym. You have in the past. You're in the broad. Past, yeah. He said, uh, I ain't Oliver Twist, little homie. I'm Oliver Tweaker. Put respect on my name. That shit ain't funny for real. So I said, pardon me? Uh, you read this and you're like, wow, this must be... Uh 
This must be one of those Bronx guys from that Michael Douglas movie. Yeah, I thought he was a real gang banger, and then mm-hmm. I clicked on his profile, and he's just some freak that makes songs. Mm-hmm. Oliver Tree, which I feel like that's not his Christian name. Mm-mm. And then he said, you and your little friend are dead. Mm-hmm. And, like, folks, I, I've never, since the Hamas attack, Yeah, I haven't taken a stance either way. I told you it's a wait-and-see thing for me. But I am concerned about anti-Semitism in this country. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I mean, I can't divorce that from getting a DM from this Oliver Twist character saying that I'm dead, Mm -hmm. you know? And he probably thinks you're Jewish, too, by association. He also said in there, he said, all the, like, I can't wait to kill everyone in Gaza. So we need to rape and murder all of these Gazan children. And it's like, why are you telling me this? Yeah. Yeah. He thought he thought his secret was safe with you. So I just want to say to this guy, leave me alone, okay? Give me some fucking peace, all right? I don't know you. You're making threats in my uh, direct messages. Mm-hmm. Just like it's 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 not fun right now for us. Your mm-hmm. Jewish friends are scared, and like you know, maybe in an, another day I would be like, oh, lol. I love your Jewish friends are scared. I want that on a T-shirt. <laughs> we should make merch for the sh- for the show. <laughs> Your Jewish friends are scared. Yeah, with the, the Adam Friedland show logo underneath. Uh-huh. Your Jewish friends are scared. Yeah, that's one screen. Mm-hmm. That's a white T with black black uh, lettering. Do we have a sponsor, Nick? Huh? I got. I'm I'm doing that. Don't worry. There's timers. Twenty one. Twenty. All right. Okay. Well, so you picked it up like real quick. Like we have today's one. episode is brought to you by Beam Beam Dream Powder. Did you know that poor sleep can cause weight gain, mood issues, bad mental health, and lower productivity? If you don't sleep enough, they'll, uh, you'll be in a bad mood and you won't get any work done. You'll be dumb as fuck. And sleeping less than six to seven hours a night is linked to reduced white blood cell count. That means uh, you're more likely to get sick. Uh, white blood cells protect against illness. They fight viruses, bacteria, and stuff. Sleep is the foundation of your mental and physical health. If you don't mm-hmm. get enough sleep, um, you know, you won't recover for the gym, and, uh, you know, you'll be in a, in a bad mood. You need a consistent nighttime routine. Um, I, you know, obviously, I've, I've had trouble sleeping in the past. And I, What's I, your routine? I don't know. I notice that it does definitely affect my ability to, to stay in a good mood and get, any, uh, every, uh, get things done. Yep. So introducing Beam Dream. That's this right here. It is it's uh, it's a powder. It's a yeah, yeah supplement. Um, it's uh, you know me and Adam both tried it. We pick, I picked the night where we didn't have to wake up early, get a full eight hour sleep. Yep. I tried it. I felt great the next day. Mm-hmm. Last time I felt rested. He rolled over. Yeah, and I felt went great. To me and he was like, I had the best night's sleep I've ever mm-hmm. had. And today our listeners get a special discount on Beam's Dream Powder, their best selling healthy hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. Mm. That's this. Now available in delicious seasonal flavors like cinnamon, cacao, sea salt caramel, and white chocolate. Peppermint. Better sleep has never tasted better. Um, and it, it contains all natural blend, blend of reishi. That's a Japanese herb. Uh, magnesium, L-theanine, melatonin, and nano CBD to help that you fall asleep, good. stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. A recent clinical study revealed Dream helped 93% of users wake up feeling more refreshed mm-hmm. and 93% reported that Dream helped them get a more restful night's sleep. So if you want to try Beam's best-selling Dream Powder, take advantage of their biggest sale of the year and get up to 50% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com T-A-F-S. And the discount is auto-applied at checkout, uh, no uh, code necessary. So it's beam, B-E-A-M, like moonbeam, B-E-A-M dot mm-hmm. com slash T-A-F-S, and it's 50% off. All right, thanks, Definitely guys. check that out, guys. Okay. It's a great product. It makes your life better, yeah. and it makes you more productive. And then we'll get to that later. Okay. Um, yeah, so what were you saying? This guy was threatening you or? Yeah, I don't know. It's just like I, I didn't even remember Sivo bringing him up. Mm-hmm. But apparently you called him Oliver Twist and it's angered this I'll guy. Call, we'll call him whatever we want. I'll call him whatever the fuck we want. Mm-hmm. Take the gun. Give me the gun. Yeah. So I just want to say, um, come into my DM again. 
Mm -hmm. And um, what, what, what what's like a good thing to say? I don't know. We'll, well, I'd like to. T we'll take a, some box cutters and slice your face open, and then piss in the wound. I'll take some box cutters and slice slice your face. Open. Yeah. What would you like to do, to this guy? You've seen him. Theoretically. I didn't want to do if anything guy, until he was threatening this, my life. If this guy, if Oliver, what's his name? Twist. If Oliver Twist was here right now, yeah, and you had a, I don't know, like a like a razor blade. What part of his body would you cut first with it? Hmm. His testicles or his penis? Maybe put the razor blade into his penis hole and then cut down his penis to his balls. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, like, I, it would be weird to be doing that to a person. Especially, like, it's his dick is... I don't want to, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's his penis, you know? Yeah. I know it's like a, like, a, oh, I'm like the clown from s the, the Saw Joker. guy. Yeah, yeah, the Joker. Or it's like Joker style, but it's Saw also Joker. a little bit... Yeah, it's the a little Home bit... The Home Depot Joker. It's a little bit like you have the penis... I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't want to do that to anyone. Mm -hmm. But like, it's just, I, I don't know. Like, like, who are you to like? Okay, we don't know who he is. We didn't hear of him before. Mm -hmm. We're like kind of old souls. We don't know about new. You stuff. know what I would do? I would do a saw trap for him, and yeah. I would have him in a room, and in the room, the room's like uh, in a building, unbeknownst to him, is in Times Square. Okay. And on one side, the, it's in a tower in the middle of Times Square. And there's a window on either side, but there's blinds. Yeah. All right. So one set of blinds, the string is tied around his penis. <laughs> and then on the other side of blinds, it's shoved up his ass, the cord. Oh, okay. And so he can either go forward or backward, but people are either seeing his ass or they're seeing his penis. Yeah. Depending on. The choice is his. The choice is yours, <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Oliver. Uh, it's quite heavy, this replica. Mm -hmm. That's because it's real. It's not real. It's a real gun. Adam brought a real gun to New York City. To Why did you buy this? It's made in Spain? Yeah. Well, I've been buying Spanish products to support. Really? Yeah. Support what? Uh, Catalan. Yeah. It's fun, huh? It's got a little bit of oomph to it. Oomph? Yeah, a little bit of... I just don't understand... How this guy, I mean, like, listen, um, sir, Oliver, if I had a razor blade, I would slice it from your belly button to your asshole, and what is the rest of it? Hmm? What are you telling me to say? Well, how, I'm not telling, I'm just asking you, you can threaten him any way that you like. I would just sit him down and create the illusion. I'd like to cut all this guy's skin off and make a the make a, the Wright Brothers airplane out of it. Yeah, it's too, it's too much work. And I'll fly you around town. I'll fly you over to your mom's house. <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, is that my son's... That's my boy! Is that my son's penis and ass? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stretched over, <laughs> stretched <laughs> over a, a wooden airplane? Yeah. So, I mean... Say that to him. <sighs> Oliver, this is for you. Oliver... Adam's going to cut off all your skin. Say, hey, if it, I don't want it to get to this place. Hey, Oliver Twist. Stay, but stay on Adam. I'll okay. feed him the lines. I hey, hey, Oliver Twist. I don't want it I'm to... Gonna, I'm gonna, this is a last resort. I don't want it to get to this place. But you if you're sending me direct threats and saying that you're going to kill I'm gonna me... I'm going to cut off your skin. I'm going to cut off your skin. And drape it over the... And the, put it... Drape it over... Turn it into the airplane from the Wright Brothers. And turn it into the Wright Brothers airplane. And then Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. And then I'm going to fly it over your mom's house. And I'm going to fly it over your mother's house. And the penis Ho hopefully area. Hopefully it's alive. Your fupa and penis area is going to make up the bottom part of the airplane. Yeah, and your fupa and penis area, she's going to recognize it from the ground. And it'll be stretched over. Your th fat thighs will be the wings. And, her, and the, your, the shame that your mother will, your will experience from, this, from <laughs> seeing your penis and asshole. Uh, and then we're she'll he, wish that you were never. He's born. gonna wear. He's Adam. Say this. Say this yeah. to, the, to Oliver Twist. I'm gonna Oliver, wear. I'm gonna the wear part of the seat that where the part where you fly the plane is gonna be like a diaper area. Yeah. So my legs go through your the holes cut out. Say it, Adam. Say it to the camera. I'm gonna do my the my seat. legs go through holes cut out in your inner thighs, and my penis goes into where your penis is. So when your mom looks up. 
I'll piss out of your dick onto your mom's face mm -hmm. from the Wright Brothers airplane. But what if my penis is too big to have his penis fit around? Well, that's not going to be a problem. What are you talking about? Well, we, we can stretch it. Yeah, we, we'll stretch your... So we're going to stretch your tiny penis, and so we're going to kind of like deglove your legs uh, and remove... His legs will be the, the plane's wings, so his, his thighs will be stretched out. So I'm kind of going to wear and your then his, ass his and old, penis as a diaper. Yeah, but it'll be... Your legs will go through it, so it'll be, your legs will be dangling from the plane mm -hmm. while you steer the plane. While I steer it. And then his penis and the ass are there, yeah. and you're sitting in it. But there's, the hole is still there, so you can piss through his dick onto his mom's face. So nasty. But it's worth it, because he, I would do this. I don't want to do this. Is it gay if you put your penis into another man's penis? No. No, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a diaper of this here comes, section. Here comes the airplane, pal. Of this section of your body. Your legs will be the wings. And then I'm going to pee out of your penis, which needs to ex be stretched extensively because it's much smaller than my penis, correct? Mm -hmm. And then I will pee through my hole into through your hole, and then the pee will from the from the air fall down onto your mother, and she will. He's going to shit it through the ass out too, and, and then I'm shit gonna all shit over your through the mom's ass. house. And like a baboon, I'm going to take the turds and throw. You it. don't even have to. It'll come out of his ass. So his mom will be like, "Is that my son? I recognize." His I know penis that and ass, ass and penis. Yeah. And then just what? My son's peeing and shitting all over my face. Yeah. In the she's house. like, "I wish you were never born," mm -hmm. and. Uh, Unbeknownst to her, you're already dead. You're already dead because the plane is made out of you. Yeah. Um, but this is, as we said again, a last resort. Because I would just prefer it if you left me alone. Because like many Jews in this country right now, I'm exhausted and mm -hmm. scared. And I don't We're also going to cut your head off and tattoo a number eight on it like a magic eight. We're going to put you in blackface with a magic eight ball. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And then we're going to rip out everything inside your head and then fill it with, like, a blue liquid. Yeah, and then a triangle. And then use thing. one of your nuts and write, I'm gay, on it. And then yeah. fucking, we're going to on, cut... I'm gay on every side. On all, yeah, yeah, on your nuts. And then we're going to cut your eyes out and then yeah. seal that with glass. And then we'll look at you and say, are you gay? And then you shake your shake head. Shake it. Your nuts are going to come up and so, say, say I'm, I'm gay. On your fucking, you know, where your eyeballs were. Yeah, see how you like that. Yeah. And guess what's getting dropped on your mom's noggin once the plane flies over? It's your magic eight ball. Magic I'm gay eight ball. ball, I'm gay head. Yeah. And your mom is going to think that's really mm -hmm. lame. She's going to say, I knew it. She's going to be like, I knew it all along. My son's gay and mm -hmm. his head is a giant magic eight ball. Mm hmm and I wish he was never born. We're gonna cut your hands off and tie them to shoestrings. Yeah. And then we're gonna do a low pass over a daycare center and use your hands to touch a bunch of kids. Yeah. So yeah. people remember you as a pedophile also. Yeah. And there's nothing you could do <laughs> like about it. A plane came by <laughs> that was a man and he was molesting all the children. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to a courthouse Yeah. and I'm gonna file for custody for your mother to adopt me. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm gonna comfort her and then we're because gonna she's going to be so traumatized. We're going <laughs> to climb out of the crib <laughs> while we're in your mom's house. Because her son's dead, so she wants a new yeah. son. And I'm gonna sleep so in she adopts a pair of twin babies that we'll dress up as. Yeah, and we're going to be the babies. First night in the home, we'll use our adult strength to get out of the crib and fuck your mom while she's Consensually. Asleep. Yeah. Or maybe. No. Okay. That's a, that's a step beyond. Yeah. I'm going to be dressed as a baby and have consensual sex with your mother yeah. in a MMF threesome with my little friend, as you refer to him. Mm -hmm. And guess what? She'll be like, this is the best sex I've ever had with a I'm gonna eat sons nothing. of mine. I'm going to eat nothing but protein powder for three weeks prior to this. And then I'm, we'll the first night, too, I'm also going to open her birth control pills, dump them all out, and take little deer-sized shit pellets in all of them. Why would his mom be on birth control? Because she doesn't, she already had one son. Oh, you were such a bad son, she never wanted she another never, one. Yeah, after she, saw, after she saw your and penis and she still and ovulates. She saw you got turned into a pedophile airplane. Yeah. <laughs> with a gay head. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want another son, so she got on birth control. But I've been taking protein powder, so I just have little deer shit pellets. 
And uh, that's what your so your mom's been eating my shit in the yeah. form of birth control. Yeah, and it's been coming out of his ass like a Tommy gun. So then she gets pregnant from Adam, who's a baby. And yeah. then, then she goes to jail for being, for being a pedophile. A, for having sex with a baby. For having sex with a baby because the DNA results don't lie, pal. Yeah. And, but she has my child. And then I name the child your name, mm-hmm. Oliver Twist. Yeah. Right? And then I'm so nice to it. Mm. And I give then we the socially engineer Instagram to give the baby your account. Yeah. And then... Uh, the judge, there's a judge order, a court order to mm-hmm. give the baby, the baby Oliver Twist your account. Because you're gay, yeah, <laughs> or something. Not, not because, I don't know. If it doesn't have to be a homophobic thing. Mm. So, like I said, if you make threats in my DMs, this could, this would be a last resort you're to turn you into a plane, yeah, and then to really give your mom a hard time. <laughs> yeah, you better look out. You better watch out. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's something you have to look forward to. Yeah. It just hurts, like, to, like, I don't want to get in beef with people. Get in beef? Yeah. I just like it when things are chill, you know? I don't like, like, I'm not a confrontational kind of, I'm not a messy bitch. You've known me for years. Mm-hmm. You, li- you know I like it when things are nice. What should yeah. I have for lunch after this? Why are you having lunch? It's like four. Because I had breakfast late, because I walked here. Late breakfast. You know what you, sh- you should have for lunch? Breakfast. I love an upside-down day. I've been having, um, I bought some of those, uh, like, Kodiak protein pancakes. Uh-huh. Have you had those? It's for bears? I don't know. They're called pro- Kodiak protein pancakes. They come in a stack of three uh-huh. in a plastic package. Really? That you cut open and put on a plate and microwave. That sounds great. What's wrong? No, I just, nothing. Well, yeah, who cares? Go ahead, dude. No, I'm sorry. You I did. That was rude. I don't want you to feel like I was. Are you busy with something? Or? You're always busy with something. I'm literally not. I'm uh, like. There's something about my my car. Okay, guys, my car got hit by a bus while it was parked on the street, so I'm waiting for an email from the fucking insurance claims adjuster. It was a Hasidic bus. I'm choosing to believe it was a Hasidic bus. But I don't know. They just left their insurance information. And, ha- you know, so I've been on the phone with the insurance all day. I took a walk through South Williamsburg. How are those night. boys doing these days? It's all right. It's always yeah. nice to walk through that neighborhood in the fall. I guess doing anything in the fall is nice, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's like going to like a, it's like a little like costume party. Oh, you think it's like a Halloween? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does feel like. But it. everyone wore the same costume. They all wear the same costume. Yeah. So well, that's embarrassing for them, huh? What What is the the Jewish Halloween that they do? Purim. Yeah, okay, but yeah. only they wear they wear costumes for that. What do you mean only? That's they? not like a Jew wide thing to do costumes for. Purim. I think other Jews do it, but they take uh, it real serious. Yeah, they go crazy. Yeah, I, they I, go I had no idea, and their costumes are weird. They're not like scary. They're just costumes. They're just clowns. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not Halloween. Yeah. I saw one of them just had a giant light bulb on his head. That's funny. Like yeah. you got an idea? Yeah. No, his like head was a light bulb. <laughs> that's also funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, I am light bulb. Yeah, that's really that's good. What if I was lamp? Listen. Comedy is a big part of who we are, you know? Mm-hmm. Except for in Israel. Those guys are not funny, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Um, yeah, no, it celebrates the uh, victory over... There was this man named Haman who tried to tell... Haman, nice shot. Yeah. The hey, fol- hey the man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who uh, told the... I think it was the Greek king of, of uh, Judea or Palestine or whatever it was called. Uh, to kill all the Jews. Antiochus was the king. Mm -hmm. And then... And we're back. So we're back. We had a bit of a technical issue. A little snafu, but not that bad. Yeah, Ginsburg is out of town for the week, so... Yes, Ginsburg, and and we... uh, Happy birthday to Adam, he's 40. It's crazy that he's only 40. Yeah, I thought 75 years old. I literally, if he told me he was 57, uh-huh. I would have been like, oh, yeah. Yeah, one of the, guy, one of the old men on, in the balcony from The Muppet Show is our editor, Adam Ginsberg. Great guy. We love him. Statler and Waldorf. 
It is really fucking. Names? Yeah, I you remember, would know their names of of Muppets of like the two old yeah, men. I'm not, not like dropping like a deep cut here. Yeah, but people just call them the two old guys. No, they don't. But they don't say like, Waldorf. What's it, Stabler? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. It was a compliment. It wasn't. Yes, I wasn't. No, I wasn't making fun of you for knowing that. Look, it's been a long day, dude. Dude, it has been a long day. It's been a long day. Been a long. You got. You got. Uh, what else is going on this week? Didn't somebody die? Yeah. Somebody Someone famous died. died. Someone died. Who? I don't know. So is the answer no, or you don't know? You just Probably someone died. What's going on with your hair, too? I don't know. Oh, it looks stupid. You look like a, uh, like a, you know, like 60s British woman haircut where they had like, like the... The beehive? And then the bangs, and then they had like a different haircut back here. Well, can you You look like a woman from All right. 60s woman. Like a woman... I'm saying this, I'm saying this the not... The James Bond would fuck. I'm saying this not as a bit. Can I have the gun, please? No, I'm saying this not as a bit. But could you just do my hair real quick? Can I can I please just I'll give you the gun if you right. do my hair. It's just low energy stuff. Just do my hair. hair. I just can't stand. No, Nick, do my hair. Today's just episode is also brought to you by, by Lu- Ow. Lucy's Lucy, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> well, yes I do. I gotta explain what Lucy is. And this smells like their... Uh, the product? Yeah, they actually have nicotine-infused shirts now. Oh, those are good. So you those put, are good. You put yeah. this on, you start violently shitting yourself and having a seizure. Those are good, yeah. You're, you're good for the next, uh, you know, four or five days. Yeah. I might put this on on the way Put it on right now. Because I get I sweated through my other free shirt mm-hmm. that I'm wearing. Um, but Lucy is a breakthrough product. Yes. That's something like you've never seen before. It is a pouch of nicotine. Yes. Um, Adam, why don't you go ahead and use one of no, these? No, you got the it's strong ones. Why don't you go ahead and put put a couple of these in your mouth real no, quick? No, it makes me nauseous, Nick. Um, I'm going to throw I swear to God, I'm going to throw up if I do. Whoa. It smells great. Damn. Yeah. I'll try it out. Uh, this one's apple ice. I guess you're really not supposed to jam these up your nose. That's like doing <sighs> snuff. That's crazy. I would wonder what happened if you tore one of these open and snorted uh, what's in here. Anyways, there Which is uh, not something that the company tells you to do. These are, are, are these guys. What do you, how do you do the thing that people do? No, but the, the like the finger. I don't know. But I think that's for chewing tobacco. You, you got some that? Copenhagen. Well, you know how you do that, that move? Yeah. How do you do it? I don't know how to do it, dude. I'm not cool. You do that? Oh, I got my Lucy here. I got my Lucy. Lucy Goosey. Yeah. These guys are cool. They didn't send us any more product this week. We just have the... Do we have a... Do we have They copy? sent us basically like a 15-year supply of... of uh, they got three co- They got three products, from my understanding. They got the regular Lucy uh, pouches. You put them in. Mm-hmm. They're, uh, they give you a little nicotine hit. They have the breakers. Where the fuck is the paper, Adam? There's a cool way I think to in say there. this stuff. Yeah. That, let me, I'll read it, I'll read it. There's a cool you way to say this one. stuff. Or you can do this one. No, uh, you do it. Or pass me the coffee. You say the stuff, mainly focus on the don't say part, because that's what we got to work on. All right, I'm not going to say. All right. Um, so they got Lucy. three things here. Yeah. They got the, these pouches. Oh, it says intelligent nicotine. Oh, yeah. so if you're like an Elon Musk kind of... Mm-hmm. Kind of Ben Shapiro's. This ain't your, this ain't your retard nicotine. Yeah, it's for smarties. To. This is for geniuses. Um, um, Lucy makes tobacco-free nicotine for people to focus better, think deeper, chill out, and inspire creativity. Uh, increased alertness, attention, mood. Uh, you can focus better. You think deeper. Uh, it makes your life way better. You sleep good with the beam. Yeah, think good with the Lucy. Yeah, uh, Lucy, uh, they got three products. There's the pouches. There's the breakers, which are pouches that also have a... a it's kind of like a Camel Crush or something. Yeah, I don't know if you should say that. Uh, it's not like a Camel Crush. I don't think you should... I think you should just not say the name of that other thing at all. Okay. At any point. All right, I apologize. 
Um, we can cut that. No, we can't. Okay, now we can't cut that. Okay, guys, they have five dif different strengths from two milligrams to 12 milligrams. Uh, in cinnamon, mint, mango, wintergreen, pomegranate, apple ice, and espresso for the Italians. Um, Here you go. Put one of these in there. It's, I already did, dude. I it's, know, but it's you made my the, mouth numb. Just put the breaker in. No, no. It's, don't it's, say this shit. We can't edit around that. Don't say, don't like disparage the product. I'm not disparaging it. I'm just saying that. Put this one in your no, fucking it's a, mouth. No, it's a pleasant. Also. Put that one in there. Yeah. I saw you. I saw you hide it. You know it's going to make me... Whatever. Look, right. you're, you're going to You have do to, it. Why don't you do it? You're going to have... Because I spent all this time quitting vaping. So you can start doing You're going to have to respond to the emails from... Tucker from, does this from, kind of from stuff. From the client. Okay. They get mad at us for... We... I love Lucy personally. I love Lucy. Mm -hmm. That's good. Desi Arnett. Um, for the flavor and the focus that it gives me. And... Uh, what stands out about Lucy are the breakers and the various strengths that you can, uh, they give you a lot of options, mm -hmm. folks. And these are flavors that you don't see on the market uh, very often. So it's higher quality than any other pouch I've tried. I really like it. And my favorite flavor is um, this one, yellow. Uh, yeah. Is in P. Is the pea. Adam loves the pea pea flavor. Mango. 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 <laughs> mango Hawaiian pea pea. I kind of say man mango where the woman don't go. Would you ever do that? Would you ever drink a, a Samoan girl's pea pea? Like a big Samoan lady? If she peed in a cup, like a nice amber piss from her. Oh, so like dehydrated? Yeah, but no, she's filled with candy and sugar. Well, if I love her. Nice diabetic pea pea from a big. Uh, if I love her and Polynesian. that's her. That's the thing that she wants, that gets her off. It's a kink of hers. I would discuss it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did you see the? the so it would have to be in, within the confines of a relationship and giving my partner what they want. Did and you see the Maoris doing the haka at Palestine? To intimidate them? I feel like I'm finally vindicated. Why do they do that? Because the fucking the haka sucks. But why did they do it? They, they did the haka for Israel. When, who not, did it? not after October 7th, by the way. Now. They're doing it now. They're doing a pro-genocide haka. Sorry, my Lucy is just is making me feel good. Well, for years I've said the haka sucks. Yeah. And now I'm right. Um, I'm going to wait and see on the haka. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't leave my mouth dry like a lot of these other products. And Lucy is superior to any other pouches. Oh, I said that already. The flavors last forever. I like how Lucy's breakers and pouches and gums help me in mm -hmm. my life. It's the perfect balance of nicotine and flavor. So, folks, whether you use nicotine to focus better, get a boost in energy, or to chill and just relax, Lucy is made for your nicotine routine. So if you want to try Lucy tobacco-free breakers, pouches, or gums, go to lucy.co, C-O, slash T-A-F-S, that's the Adam Friedland Show, the acronym, uh, and use promo code T-A-F-S. What does that get you? 20% off. Oh, this one smells great. What is it? Mango. Espresso. No, it's mango. It is? <coughs> is that the one you have? Did you uh, bite it? No, I didn't bite it yet. Bite it. <laughs> Try the gum also. I did, I already did, man. How's the gum, good? Stop force feeding me Lucy. Shut up. Wait, come on, dude. What is it? Berry citrus. Try the gum with the pouches. I will. Get you. Get Later. Let me finish the read. It's two milligrams. Let right. me finish the read of this product we like to use. Mm -hmm. um, Lucy offers free shipping. and has 30-day refund policy. If you change your mind, that's L-U-C-Y dot C-O. And use promo code T-A-F-S. That's 20% off. And always free shipping. So, folks... Here's a small print, and we have to read this exactly as is written. So, Nick, please allow me to do that. And here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is addictive. Nicotine is addictive. When you do that, you look like a lot like Aaron. Who? Aaron. The old know. man we had in our sketch? Yes. 
You know, Adam, friendship is the, the most, most important, important thing. thing. Aaron said that. That's right. Not Dave? Aaron said it. I like that Aaron got pissed off. Friendship He's like, everyone says I look like Dave, and they look exactly the same. They don't really look the same at all. Well, one's shorter. Dave has a more... Dave, Dave has the most ear hair I've ever seen. Dave has like a little woodland... And it's brown. Dave has like a woodland creature vibe to him. Like what? Like a doe? He's like a little shrew or something. He's like got a... He's like a sprite? No, he's like... It's like you ever like crack open a log and find a bunch of... Uh, like blind, like moles. Yeah, like those kind. Of, yeah, like some kind of. Yeah, he's like a woodland. You know, like one of Sonic's friends. Mm-hmm. You know, like tails. Not tails, but like a little. This is the guy Mario the Digs, Marty Mole. Oh yeah, he's cute. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's kind of. He, he's in Mario Party. You can play with him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good guy, honestly. That's what he kind of reminds me of. Those were good days when you we played Mario Party. You gotta stop saying he's a good guy. Who? You. Why? You just love. You say it about everybody. You're no, like, he's I a don't good say that guy. about. I don't say that about everyone. He's a good guy, always. I think it's a good assessment of character. But you say it all the Whether time. Whether someone's like, a good guy s- or not. You say it in such like a revelatory way, as if like like you know who, you know a, you know what that guy's actually a good guy. I didn't say actually. I said that guy's a good guy. Mm-hmm. What? I'm not allowed to say nice it's things? Just, it's, no, it's just like there's things you say, but you say them. Okay, go down the list. What else do I say? Pathos. You say that a lot. I say pathos a lot. And it's just completely unnecessary. It sounds nice. Yeah. It's I don't use ethos at all, but I use mm-hmm. pathos a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Go ahead. Um, narrative. Anything. Any I say narrative a lot. Narrative. Anything yeah. film related. It maintains a narrative. You say that a lot. I'm constantly hearing how things... It maintains a narrative. A narrative being maintained. Yeah, to follow through on a narrative. All right, yeah. Okay, uh, go ahead. What else? Any any, any of like the film editing terms. Like what? J-cut, L-cut? Radio edit. We're going to have a radio edit. Yeah, so we don't do all the cuts to make it look smooth, and we just have the content we want. It's cool. <laughs> it was invented by Cuba Gooding Jr. Go ahead. What else? Yeah. What else do you say? Speaking of. Go uh, ahead. Go. What of, else do you say? Speaking of radio. What else do you say? Speaking of radio. Okay. Is Lloyd Austin retarded? Who? Oh, the <laughs> defense secretary. <laughs> yeah. Is that guy mentally disabled? There was a guy on Fox. I mean it. I'm not even kidding. That Anytime they have him on the TV, he's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like this guy. Yeah, I think he might be. Where did he come from? Is he Navy? Uh, no, he's an Army guy. Army man. Yeah, but I think he was like West uh, Point. No, like, uh, like, uh, like the same as radio. I think he used to like hang out near the Army. They let him score a touchdown yeah, they for a Make-A-Wish? Yeah, right. Yeah. They let him in. They let him be defense secretary yeah. during the Gaza War? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is kind of a smart move. You're just wheeling him out. It's kind of the Kamala strategy. It would be smart. If I was president, my entire cabinet would be mentally disabled people. Down syndrome. Yeah. Full cabinet. Right. Everyone then, would love them. Yeah, right. They deliver bad news, yeah. but they're the nicest guys. Yeah. They're good guys, I would say. Yeah. They'd be yeah. like, oh, the transportation secretary made all the buses tiny. Yeah. And you'd be like, wow, it sounds like you're an anti-Semite, pal. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Check it, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is actually a really good plan. Uh-huh. Or at least if you or you do the thing that Jimmy the Chin d- did and everyone in your cabinet just pretends to be uh, enfeebled. You know? Well, he pretended to have like dementia or something. Yeah. Yeah. If I was you like wear a bathrobe. If I was press secretary, okay? Uh-huh. Of uh, the the White House press secretary, I would um keep uh like a crunchy jiffy, jiff mm-hmm. peanut butter, I would keep it in my, uh, in the back of my underpants. And if someone really What's asked that from? Is that from Liar Liar? Is it? Yeah. I don't remember. Isn't it the movie Liar Liar where they tell the, the legal anecdote about the guy that, that kept the poo-poo in it? Yeah. Is it either that or was it Carlito's Way? I think it was a mafia thing. Was it Carlito's way where they had the uh-huh. Ziploc bag of shit in his ass and he starts, or like peanut butter in his ass and he starts eating to prove insanity? Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Smart. But what movie was that? Is that Carlito's movie? I thought I, I always associate that with a mafia movie. Sean Penn is so good in that movie. Um, the Wig? Yeah. I, I love it. And replace Steven? <coughs> he plays Steven. Well, Steven plays him. Yeah. Steven plays him in I Am Sam. That's mm. just a joke that I made about my friend Steven. Who did, did we do the one who about... Who looks a lot like Sean Penn. Did we it's do... It's rude of me to do. You guys we, don't know him, but if you saw him... Did we do... It would be pretty good. Yeah. We did a... Uh, did we ever do a thing about uh, I Am Sam, or the original title of radio be, being called I Be Sam? <laughs> I think yeah. you've said that before. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard you say that yeah, before. Oh yeah. I don't know if it was over a text or... I be Sam on the previous a, podcast. It's the original title of radio. Yeah. I do be Sam. Mm -hmm. It's the sequel. I done had been Sam. I done been Sam. I done been Sam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, this is Lucy's. My attention, my focus. Your focus, good. Maybe you need. To, we need to be jamming these things in your head all the time. Well, I just got to But I'm also relaxed. That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. the, I'm relaxed, but I, the focus level is at, off the charts. Lloyd Austin, even that name. Yeah, if you were, if it was Band of Brothers times, right? Uh -huh. If we were back in Band of Brothers times, what a uh, branch of the United States? Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that looks navy. Uh, that looks like a navy uniform. Uh, I think he's in the army. But blue is navy. Yeah, but here he is in in green. Really? Maybe he was in the Navy. I don't know. I thought he was an Army guy. Yeah. What what's, what branch would you be? If what? If it was Band of Brothers times. Uh, oh, in World War II? Yeah. I don't know. Just a guy that cleans one of the boats and doesn't do shit. Oh, so you'd be Navy. Yeah. Yeah. And a huh. fucking deck scrubber. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That'd be cool. Yeah. I would be... um. I'd probably be uh, probably army intelligence. Would you? Yeah. And I make up rumors. Mm -hmm. I make up rumors about the Nazis. Yeah. Lloyd James Austin, Army Four Star General. Really? Yeah. Is he Desert Storm? What he serving? Um, he let's see here. He started off tearing tickets at Regal Cinemas, <laughs> and then. <laughs> He was the janitor at Wendy's. <laughs> and then uh, looks like he bagged groceries for a while. And we thank, come on, and we thank yeah. him for his service. Oh, I mean, he had he a job. Man. Uh, he served his country. There's he, nothing more important you could do. Yeah, he had a job petting service animals at the airport. They paid him for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that could be his job. Mm -hmm. Really. Mm -hmm. There is a guy that was on Fox Business who was like their like resident black conservative. Uh -huh. And I... It's probably racist to say, it, but I do. He looked. I confuse him and Charles, whatever that guy's name is, from like a Barkley. <laughs> it was not Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know. <laughs> Everybody know Israel has a right to defend itself. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Davis soft, but Israel has a right to defend itself. Mm -hmm. I love Charles. Should we do a book club for the show? That'd be fun. I want to read his biography. It's got a really good name. Look it up. Shut up and read. No, his autobiography Charles, is Charles called Barclay, like Shut I, Up and Read. Look up what the name of his autobiography is. I saw it the other day and I was like, Nick and I should read this together and talk about it on the show. This could really spice up our relationship, Nick. Are it's like you? I might be wrong, but I'm not, or something. Mm-hmm. The Charles Barkley story? What is it called? I'm looking up the Blue Army. Uniform. Why? I asked you to look it up. Where's my phone? Just look up what it's called. It's called If I Did It. That's the other one. Charles Barkley book. Autobiography. Sir Charles, The Wit and Wisdom of Charles Barkley no, by Charles it's, Barkley. It's the autobiography. Who's Afraid of a Large Black Man? Really? Yeah, he's got I a thought it was Dr. Seuss. I may be wrong, but I doubt it. Yeah, I may be wrong, but I doubt it. That's a great title for yeah. an autobiography. Outrageous. He's got a bunch of books. Really? Yeah. We should read I May Be Wrong, But I Doubt It. 
That'd be cool, no? Mm. Do a little like book club. Berkeley's book, I may be wrong, but I doubt it, isn't the most well-written literature <laughs> of the time by any stretch. Yes, okay. I don't know, it's the Amazon review. Let's imagine hear. being imagine being that dumb that you're leaving like catty Amazon reviews about Charles Barkley. It's just Barkley. that much of a fucking gossip. <laughs> yeah. It isn't the most well-written <laughs> romp of the last fucking <laughs> loser. Check his other reviews. Yeah. Check that what that I gotta guy find, also. That was in like the Google description. I gotta find it. Um, Check the user. See what else he's gossiping about on Amazon. Mm-hmm. This book was an easy read. Although if I cared about sports, it probably would have given it five stars. Loser. He does speak some truth, but of course he does. It's straight facts. The whole thing. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, from Ian. That's who wrote that. Ian Finance. Wrote it had been. Yo, I finally read a book. <laughs> Yo, I've been doing good. I've been reading, actually. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Dude. We should start a book club. You know? And then we can all... that. Because, look, man, I'll be honest with you. I find it really hard to keep reading. But if we get a fucking book club... Yeah. Dude. Wait, what did Ian say? Berkeley's book, I may be wrong, but I doubt it isn't the most well-written literature of the time by any stretch, but it is full of common sense thoughts and language that most people can agree or disagree about without being disagreeable. It's like being at a bar and hearing his thoughts on the various subjects. His thoughts? His thoughts on the various... Come on, Ian. (laughs) Come on. On the various subjects. What did the English language ever do to you, (laughs) Ian? And controversies that have come up in his career and our society in the last 20 years. Come on, Ian. I found myself shaking my head up and down and ha, a hard time putting the book down. <laughs> it is an easy, relaxing read. Okay, what other reviews from Ian? Ian from Ashburn, Virginia. Oh. Um, okay. For, DMV, man. This is for a tiny silver guitar. Oh, guitar-shaped cake pan. Okay, let's see what he says on that. <laughs> Product works well enough, but the edges are so sharp I slice my finger open getting the cake out of the mold. <laughs> this guy's a loser, yeah. folks. <laughs> it worked pretty well, but I covered my son's birthday cake in, in blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make guitar cake. All right, this one's for Magic Tiles Hop 3D EDM rush dancing ball hop music game forever. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck does Magic that Magic Tiles hop 3D EDM rush dancing ball hop music oh, game. Oh, it's like forever. DDR. It's yeah. Like it's one of those like square, like you, you hit all the yeah, squares. It looks like Guitar Hero yeah. on the phone or something. Fucking Ian, you loser. And he said, Everything you click is for an ad. This game sucks. Yeah. I like the song Pre, though. All right, let's see here. All right, cool. Nice one, Ian. Uh, horse riding simulator, open world horse racing, <laughs> 2020. It's <laughs> a game where you pretend to ride a horse. There's no objectives. It's yeah. just like a flight simulator. When I press exit in the game, instead of leaving on the <laughs> the device, and I try to go back into the game, it will kick me out. Oh my Two god! Two stars. This guy's life sucks. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Car console covers plus made and designed for Ford Bronco Sport 2021 neoprene. What is it? It's like just a cover for your, it's a neoprene cover. Oh, so he has a Ford Bronco Sport? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, he has Great a Great product, fits very well, very easy to install. I can barely tell it is an OEM. So now uh, you kind of like him. The sequel to Coming to America. No way. Great follow-up to the original. That movie sucks. I wasn't sure I wanted to watch it because the original was so amazing. <laughs> this didn't disappoint. It was a great movie with many callbacks to the original. Not a remake at all, and not quite as good as the original, but it's definitely made with the fans in mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hayabusa Kids Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Belt. Oh my, what the hell? He's just buying children's belts? Yeah. For High em- quality, holds on well and doesn't look like it will be falling apart through regular usage. About an hour per week for the next year or so. This guy's a freak. Mm-hmm. He's a sick freak. This man is a sick freak. 
if you're in Ashburn, Virginia, you know this guy. Tell him I say he's a fucking sick freak. Mm. Here we go. Star Wars girl Darth Vader shirt. No, what is wrong? No. <laughs> okay, these these items do not match up. Yeah, great fit, durable, great design. He's just driving around in his girl Darth Vader shirt playing phone games in his Bronco, dude. Wearing his Brazilian jiu-jitsu belt. Thinking that the new coming of Amer- coming to America was pretty good and a nice one for the fans, but not yeah. as good as the original. Oh, here we go. Chase and Chloe, Kimmy, 21, women's his pumps. And what would, the fuck is this? I don't know. And you think maybe it would be a gift for his wife? He says, no. They look great, but can be hard on the feet after just a few hours, especially on the toe knuckle. Oh, my God. The plot thickens. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a Women's cross shoes. He's a cross-dressing karate man, wearing Darth Vader, wearing he's, girl he, boss Darth Vader clothes with his BJJ outfit, and then uh, he's a, a cross-dressing little, because he has a, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu belt is for a child. Uh-huh. Yeah. So he's a tiny cross-dressing karate man, and he's a huge fan of coming to America. Who read the Charles Barkley autobiography? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Great quality, but yo, he is little. Great quality, but fits too large. Great quality, but fits too large. Returned and in, intending to reorder. The women's shoes? No, the 3030 was far too large. Reordering the 2929. Do they even make 2929 pants? Yeah, probably. I know they make Why? like 2930. What inse- kind of pants are they? They're just slacks. Do those come lower than a 30 inch inseam? This guy's a real sick freak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's wearing pumps, dockers, mm-hmm. a girl boss Star Wars shirt. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Yeah. There you go. This is for a review for the White Donkey Terminal Lance. What the hell is that? I don't I, I feel like I'm having a stroke because every one of these products, the words don't go together. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is Lamp Dance He only buys things that have 12, na- 12 words in the product title. Yeah. Yeah. It's Christmas Buttons Ultimate Pleasure Dinosaur. set. <laughs> yeah. Dinosaur, Dinosaur Dinos, Christmas, Israel. yeah, pleasure set. The White Donkey, Terminal Lance. It's a sword. It's I think it's a it's a book uh, about the Marines. I'm a longtime fan of the comic strip Terminal Lance and a former Marine. I expected it to be funny, but it was so real that I felt the tragedy of the main character. I think I know who he is. The story and art is amazing. The reality of the story. From boring patrols to coming home to losing a friend, also real. I look forward to the next work by this awesome artist and author. <laughs> so the okay. two the two books he's read are something about being a marine and the Charles Barkley autobiography. Okay, but I I think from context clues I know who he is. Who? He is the trans SEAL Team Six mm-hmm. person that killed Bin Laden, mm-hmm. and then had a sex change immediately after. Yeah, I'm looking for any other good ones in here. And he loves rock and roll. He makes guitar cakes. Mm-hmm. You got this Deadpool tank top. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> this Deadpool tank top. And his review is, helps me to lift with maximum effort. So he's yoked. Yeah, it makes me strong. He's yoked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I wear my 29, 29 inseam pants and my pumps and my Deadpool <laughs> tank top, before a night out with the girls wearing my pumps and my Darth Vader girl t- Oh my god, Ian, you make me sick. Yeah. All right. Just him bleeding, finding that body, a five foot three, 110 pound man wearing a dress, covered in his own blood, trying to make a guitar cake to celebrate finishing the, the Charles Barkley autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one last one, and then we're going to say goodbye. We're out of reviews here. All right, folks, thanks for watching. And uh, just a final thought, listen, just try to be nice to your friends and family. Just in this day and age, there's a lot of animosity. There's a lot of people are fucking tearing each other down. Some fucking guy, Oliver Twist, is DMing me. It's just like, just, just be normal, everyone. I feel like this world has gone mad. So thanks for watching the show. And thanks to Vin for... Uh, for Filling in for Ginsburg this week. Everyone give it up for our friend Vinny Arfuso. Thank you. Thank you.